Today, we're discussing the top 10 jailbreak tweaks for iOS 8. Very briefly, before we jump right on into this top 10 jailbreak tweaks video, I just wanted to let all of you guys know that if you want to know the names, developers, repositories, pricing, and even compatibility of each and every single one of the tweaks that I talk about in this video, head right down below to the description of this video and I will have a list of everything that I talk about for your viewing convenience. Jumping right into number 10, we have a jailbreak tweak that most of you have probably heard of unless you're relatively new to the community, and that is the famous Zeppelin. Definitely, this has got to be my top 10 jailbreak tweaks of all time because it allows you to put an image where your carrier name usually goes. As you guys see right now on the top left of my device, it normally says Verizon, but now I can have a bat or a really cool looking Apple logo, or if you feel like pushing your luck, you can even put the Android symbol in your status bar. And these are only a fraction of the default logos included when you install Zeppelin initially, but there are thousands upon thousands you can download from Cydia, and I'm sure new ones are added at least every week, if not every day. One that I'm currently using in my status bar is the Destiny Zeppelin logo from my own personal repo, repo.futureinnovator.co and of course if you feel like adding that to your list of Cydia sources that will also be linked right down below in the description of this video. At number 9 we've got a iOS 7 jailbreak tweak actually that works great on iOS 8 called App Color Close. This transforms the boring white standard X into something vibrant and it actually uses a dynamic color from each of the app icons on your home screen. For example, here's it on my iPad without the tweak being installed, just plain white. But on my iPhone with it being installed, it takes a color from each of the app icons and it looks really, really nice. Coming in at number eight, we've got Showcase, which really is just a jailbreak tweak that makes sense. Normally the letters on your keyboard or are always capital all the time, no matter if you're shifted or not in the shift mode. But Showcase makes this right in my opinion because as you can see, just in spotlight, I swipe down and it's not automatically capitalized. But if I tap on the shift key, bam, all the letters go into shift. And you can even type and the letters will dynamically change based on if the shift key is pressed or not. This is an awesome tweak and I don't really know why it's not an iOS in the first place. At number seven, we're taking a look at Barrel, which I would say is arguably the most famous Joe Berg tweak ever. If you've ever seen someone with a jailbroken phone, if they've shown you it before you've jailbroken or you've seen something related to jailbroken, jailbreaking rather, you've likely seen Barrow, which allows you to customize the way you flip through pages on your phone. This is probably because it's the easiest thing to show someone and for them to understand. Not that they're stupid or anything, but if you try to explain jailbreaking, you say, oh, you can do things like make the pages look different when you swipe and they'll be like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, I, that, that's pretty cool. And there's tons of different modes when you actually buy barrel. There's from radar to spin to random to normal to whatever, pretty much. There's so much customization with this tweak. Uh, and if you actually want a free art, free alternative to barrel, if you don't feel like spending the money on it, you can get something called cylinder, which is extremely similar and you can even customize modes. So some of you might like it better than barrel. I bought Barrel and currently it's what I'm using on my iPhone and my iPad and it does exactly what I need it to. At number 6 on our list we've got a brand new jailbreak tweak just for iOS 8 I believe called Untethered Hey Siri. If you weren't aware when your device is plugged in through its lightning cable and connected to a power source from anywhere in the room if you have this option under Siri preferences enabled you can say hey Siri and your device will come on. Now what this does is actually allows you to say, hey Siri, whether your device is plugged into a power source or not. The only worry here is that it will likely cause some battery drain, but that might be worth it to you if you want to use hey Siri a lot and do hands-free tons and tons, especially I would say if you drive maybe and you need to respond to a text without looking at your phone or answer a call without looking at your phone, you could just say, hey Siri, call so-and-so without it even being plugged into a power source. To enable this tweak, you actually have to head over to Siri's preference panel. So that's just simply settings app, general, Siri, turn the switch on to allow Hey Siri. And instead of doing while charging, go ahead and tap on always. And I can say, Hey Siri. And just like that, her interface will pop right up. Heading over to our top five jailbreak tweaks for iOS 8 now, we have 
awesome swipe selection. You can drag your finger on your keyboard to navigate through text in seconds. Instead of having to use that just awful, which I guess it's the best way that Apple could implement it, but instead of using the little magnifying glass to try to navigate characters, you can simply swipe your thumb or finger across your keyboard, and the cursor will actually dynamically move throughout the text you're viewing. It's so useful if you make an error and you don't want to mess around with the magnifying glass, and I feel like I'm saving tons of time when I use this tweak. Coming in at number 4, we've got an extremely useful jailbreak tweak, because if you are an avid jailbreaker like myself, you know that you respring relatively frequently on a jailbroken device, so this awesome tweak called Pull to Respring allows you to simply launch up the settings app, swipe down quickly from the top, you get a very nice UI animation, and you respring just as so. When the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6 had different software features, I was immediately disappointed that for whatever reason, the iPhone 6 did not have contact pictures inside of the Messages app, yet the 6 Plus did. So thankfully, somebody's made a jailbreak tweak already for iOS 8 that's called Convo Pics, and just like I said before, it adds contact pictures straight to the Messages app on iOS 8. At number 2, we likely have my most appreciated tweak for iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus users only. There is a plethora of apps that are still not updated for the bigger screen sizes of the iPhone 6 and of the iPhone 6 Plus. And if you've watched any of my videos in the recent month or so, you've noticed that my biggest complaint is that apps just don't look good on these larger screens. But this jailbreak tweak called Force Good Fit actually optimizes some apps that have not been optimized through the App Store for the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus to look amazing. One prime example of this is just simply Winterboard. Without Force Good Fit enabled for Winterboard, you can see that it's blown up as if you were using an iPhone 5S view on the iPhone 6. But when I enable an option in the Force Good Fit settings for Winterboard, do a very quick respring when I launch it up, it looks as if Sark had just updated it for the iPhone 6 and iOS 8. This tweak is awesome, and if you have an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 6 Plus, this is a must-have tweak for you. And for the number one tweak as of right now at the time of this video going live on YouTube, which is November 1st of 2014, my favorite tweak for iOS 8 is Hide Labels. I just recently discovered this and I don't know what it is about this tweak, but when you're on that home screen and you have this beautiful iOS 8 space background, with no icon labels on just the stock icons, not even using a winterboard theme. It looks so, so nice. I cannot get over it. I've caught myself multiple times just today staring at my home screen because of the sheer beauty. The icon labels I've discovered just convolute the screen, and obviously I know that's the camera app, that's the app store, so on and so forth. I'm not going to get confused without icon labels. And in order to cut my rambling short, I'm just going to tell you guys that this tweak is awesome. If you enjoyed watching the video, feel free to leave a like down below and make sure you subscribe for future coverage of countless iOS 8 jailbreak tweaks. I'll be covering themes, jailbreak news, tweaks, all that good stuff here on my channel, so make sure you have subscribed in case you haven't already. This was Sam with iUpdateOS, and I'll see you guys in the next one.